This is a Taiwanese mukaku grapefruit, and one and a half kilos, it's quite a beast. Now, it came to Japan via traders in around 1772, where it, now it's grown in southern Kyushu in Akune as the Akune Bontan. Now, if you're thinking, why would you go out and buy such a massive grapefruit? And the answer is generally you wouldn't. People buy these for the New Year's ceremony where they'll put them in their home altar as an offering to the deceased spirits. At the end of New Year's, people tend to give them away, and in this case, a kind old lady gave this away to me. Now, these cost for half a dozen around the equivalent of $100, so at $16 a pop, they're generally not bought for eating. And there's another reason they're not bought for eating, which when I cut it open and show you, you'll understand why. So let's have a look inside this Akune Bontan. Now, I'm going to need a whole carving knife for this because it is such a beast of a, a thing. Once we get the top out, I'm going to cut it along maybe whichever is the cleanest line to give you a good view. It's actually too big for even this, this knife. I'm going to have to turn it around and cut it from the other side as well. But here's the reason you generally don't buy these for eating. If I hold this up to the camera, this is why, because as you can see, it is a, well, at least half, if not more, pith. So you've got all this big, thick, pithy area here, and the actual grapefruit is maybe just equivalent to, say, a fairly large grapefruit or a regular grapefruit to begin with. So that's kind of the why, reason why they're good for ceremonial purposes, you know, for the, on the altar, because they look really large on one side, even if the inside is kind of, the actual fruit is actually considerably smaller. Now you can actually eat these, and well, they're a little bit on, maybe a little bit on the sour side as things go, but still I enjoy eating them when I do get given them post a New Year's. So in January, I tend to have a little bit of grapefruit to eat myself and for my family, where we kind of tuck into this uh, taste. But as things go, well, they're very grapefruity. And I think Japanese people tend to prefer sweeter style fruits, as I find, say, apples, which are a little bit more bitter to like Granny Smith and that to be fine, whereas Japanese people tend to prefer them to be sweet. Now, if you're wondering how these taste, well, I just had a little bit of a bite of a piece of one of them. And it's actually a bit milder than I had expected. They have a very mild, if typical, grapefruity taste, so they're very easy to eat. Somewhat watery, a little bit on the dry side, obviously. It has been sitting around a while since, it, since it's been a couple of weeks since New Year's, but still very easily edible and quite tasty. So that's the Taiwanese mukaku, or Japanese akane bontan for you. If you're, This is a little snippet of Japan I thought I'd share. If you'd like to see more of these snippets of Japan, do like, subscribe, and comment the kind of things you might like to see about Japan since I've been living here for some time.